morning. Um, welcome to another episode of Roll Bazan. Toasted Ad. And where are we today? Fort Park Carnival. Fort Park Carnival. We are here today. We're probably going to focus today on getting Baz's last few Fort Park creds, except for Walking Dead. Because uh, you didn't get on Colossus last time for the breakdown. And you were a little bit unsure about Stealth and uh, Saw. But today, Stealth and Saw are happening. So, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, stealth. Stealth. And we might even get on detonator as well. We'll see what happens. Oh, and I'm also going to go on the outside bit of the school. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have some good rides. We're going to try and get around the park. It's a bit busier because it's actual school holidays. We never come to theme parks on school holidays. Yeah. So, let's get to it. Colossus? Yeah. Well, I've been defeated by the test seat on Colossus as I was a few years back. I have lost quite a bit of weight since then, but still don't want to go all the way through the queue line and give people hassle. I'm probably borderline, but still. So, uh, Baz has gone on with his cousin who's here with us today, and we'll see how he enjoys his first ride on Colossus. I guess the good thing for me about not being able to go on Colossus is I've been on it before and it's not like Sick isn't out there now so I can go on Sick at Flamingo Land because we know that that's got an easier restriction so it's not like I'm going to miss out on the layout and it'll probably be a bit smoother. Baz, you've just taken your first ride, a front row ride on Colossus, which you queued up for in spite of the fact you knew I was waiting, you rotter. But how was it? Was it good? Um, yeah, it was good. Um, it was quite head bashy. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough monster, isn't it? But The only bits that weren't head bashy was the um, last, like, like the, just going through there. The quadruple barrel roll, like heartline roll thing, yeah? Would you ever ride it again? Yeah. Okay, well maybe I'll try and like suck my gut in on Friday and we'll give it a go because we're coming back here for another Thought Park uh, review later in the week where we're going to talk a bit more about Carnival. Yeah. But what do you fancy next? Do you fancy another coaster? Do you fancy Saw? No, I do not. But you're going to do it anyway? No, oh, no. Okay, get back to you later a little bit. Ages. So Baz, are we going to do it? Are we going to face Saw? I want to do this later. We're doing it now, mate. Come on, run in that queue line. Face it, go. No, 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 no. no. I swear to you, this is not going to be scary. It's not too horror. It's not The Walking Dead, you can manage. There's nothing like The Walking Dead in terms of scariness and horror, and the coaster is easy to you. Yeah, the coaster is easy, but it's the theming. What? The theming is not going to be a problem, it's tiny, I promise you. There is nothing scary in it. And if I'm wrong, Are you sure? I'll get you something special. I'm sure about Saw. 
I wouldn't encourage you to go on it if I wasn't confident it's not scary. You've been on scarier ghost trains, honestly. He's on it, he's going. We'll see you in 50 minutes. He's been on this, and what is it? Saw the ride. You have been on Saw the ride. You've been worried about Saw the ride for like a year now, yeah? Because the theme yeah. in the horror is not what Baz likes. No. Were, was it a scary queue line? It was just like outside the whole time, it was kind of boring. Oh well cool, well if the queue line was a bit boring, that was the ride. It was amazing, it had things that I didn't even know that they were there. Yeah? Like yeah. the indoor bits or the outdoor bits? The indoor bits. It's got quite good air time, I really like the little pops of air time on this, it's not one of not many coasts that have that. It's also running a lot smoother again as of my last uh, trip to Hallbug a lot smoother than I remember it running what did you think of the smoothness? Uh, it was good uh, it just felt my legs like, yeah it goes you don't like the gas flower seats do you? he doesn't like the seats I think it's just the fact he's a bit shorter he wraps them around a bit more but yeah some more victims I had a good ride you've had a good ride yeah shall we go and check out maybe another ride now okay let's go check something out So that beauty there is what we'd like to be riding, Stealth, my favourite UK coaster, but they haven't finished fixing the cable, so we are going to go for a 50 minute queue up to get on Nemi Inferno, yeah? 50 minutes. 50 minutes, it's not too bad. Quite a long one. Considering Stealth's down and it's the school holidays, I think 50 minutes is alright. Really? Really. So yeah, let's go get in it. They are the interlocking corkscrews. Always a fun element. <laughs> We've done our ride on Nemesis Inferno, went front row in the end, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, good one? Yeah, it was really good. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a fun being there, Mimbe. If you haven't done it before, you've got to do it. It's not what we had to tick off the list, though. What we were going to tick off the list for you next will be stealth. But before that, I've got something to tick off the list. What am I doing? Dan Brown's ghost train. So I'm going to go over and see if I can get spooked. Well, while I'm strolling over to Darren Brown's Ghost Train, here's the Carnival Street Food that's just here for Carnival. And we'll check that out a bit in our other vlog, which now I think about it, we'll probably show that vlog first. You've probably already watched it, but if you haven't, it'll be up in the corner. But yeah, here is Darren Brown's Ghost Train. And I'm going to take a ride on this for the first time. So a little shout out to my niece, Baz's cousin, Hannah, who came with us today, which has made it possible for me to leave Baz behind and try out the ghost train. I've heard a lot about it, but I haven't heard anything that actually happened. I've just heard it's really unique, it's got a lot of fun, and it's something different. So I guess we'll see what that is. So, dude, how was um, 
the rail depot and... So you mean Darren Brown's ghost oh, train? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to spoil Darren Brown's ghost train, but not in the way you're going to expect. Oh. It wasn't very good. Really? I didn't really like it. Really? Like it's a VR thing. I think my VR headset didn't work properly up for the first bit of VR in there. But yeah, I don't scare easy. So it was okay. It was okay. But if you're someone who likes to be scared and get scared easy, I think you're going to love it. But if you don't scare easy like me, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. Well, oh. That's it. That's it. And then you get to the end of this done. So yeah, like there's lots of VR in there. So if you don't like VR, don't go, go for it. If you're not someone who scares easily, I would say it's not worth the, the time. Go and do a different ride instead. Right. But if you're Baz, don't go near it. You're too scared. Should you go and do another ride? Yeah. So, Baz, you're about to go on my favourite ride in the UK, which is a good thing to do after going on a ride I didn't enjoy. No. You're finally doing it. I can't express how excited I am about this. Are you excited? Yeah, um, who should I go with? You should go with me. I know your cousin's here with you today, but go with me. Roller Baz, coast to riding out on the best ride in the UK, okay? Okay. Cool. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm also a little scared. Good. It's good to be a little bit scared. It makes it more exciting. Let's go do it. Yep. We, we've we come away from the loud music of Amity Speedway to get a massive reaction to my favourite coaster in the UK, but Baz has just taken his first ride on it. Baz, stealth, the review. It was amazing! Stealth is the best ride in this park. Is it the best ride in the UK? I know that's an early ask when you've done it once. Yeah. I mean, like, compare it to Rita. It's the same machine, but it's a different thing, right? Yeah, it's way better than Rita. Was it Rita that was making you a bit worried about it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you did enjoy Rita the other week at Towers. If you haven't seen that vlog, go and watch it. But, like, you loved it, right? Yeah, I loved it. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. Coming in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right then. Theme park lunch, yeah. Theme park lunch. Have you got have you got anything else to say about it? What was the best bit? The launch, the coming down, the the, the airtime. That hill? was that was a crazy launch. It went so fast. It kind of hurt my back, the back of my head. Because it's the pro. Oh, you got to keep your head back so it doesn't bash into I, it. I was. I was. Oh, okay. But yeah, like. Yeah, I think it's just because I'm a little dude. You're a little dude, but you had a great big ride, right? Yes. Okay, let's go and get a big, great big lunch. Yeah. Five, four, three. Right, we're back from lunch, full of pizza pasta buffet. Yeah. Full on pizza pasta, like my best ride in any park. Yeah, we finally went on it. Got a dramatic pizza pasta buffet chat music going. Uh, what are we riding next, Baz? Uh, Detonator. Detonator, bombs away. Like, you were, you become a drop tower veteran because you did Apocalypse this week at Greater Manor. Yeah. So this one should be pretty chill, but this one's interesting because the ride ops have got a lot more control with their special button over what happens on this one. Yeah, a lot more So are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Are you at all nervous? Nah. He's chill now. I hope you're all up there having fun, but your ride will be dropping in 3, 2, 1. We just got a bit of splashed by Tidal Wave. We got tricked by those water guns, didn't we? Yeah. 
But it's okay, we can dry off on what was your favourite coaster at Thought Park this morning. Um, the Swarm. So yeah, the Swarm. The B&M wing coaster that you've only ever been on once before. But that, this is a coaster I love because this is the coaster that got you onto big rides and got you sorted out, isn't it? Really? Yeah, this was the one that did it. That like got me on some of the other rides, like Soar and Colossus, and like other stuff. Well, it's only on 15 minutes, so that's pretty sweet. I think we know you fit bad. You've been on it enough. Ready to go on the Soar. So bad. Detonator chat. How was Detonator? It had a better push drop. They had a better push drop than Apocalypse. Yeah, we were doing Apocalypse just recently at Drayton Manor. I think you're right about that. I think it does have a better push drop, but Apocalypse has the height. So they're both really, really good. Which one's the best? Uh, I know which one I'm hoping you say is the best, but you choose. What? I'm kind of hoping you say that this like, one's the best. Not because I think it is, but yeah, because it'd one. be happier this for one. you if it dropped how you like was still going to be standing in December. Yes, yes. Well, I'm glad you do then, because like, it's a real shame Apocalypse is going, yeah. but we are still going to have detonator. Right, we're back on the swarm. Yeah. You haven't been here since you did the six day, the six rides on the swarm day that got you yeah. into coasters. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Which side? Oh. Which side are you hoping for? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the right side. Okay. Uh, oh, what were you going to say to me? I could tell you were about to say something. Uh, stealth is running with people on it. Stealth is, oh, Stealth broke down again for a bit. We were hoping to get back on it, so that's good news. Thank you for that. one that launches you? Oh yeah, Stealth. Stealth was amazing. We had a re-ride on Stealth and it was a blind launch, wasn't it? Yeah. Why? Why do they keep on like saying it's a blind launch? Well, I think they're having some trouble with their little system that does the um, little bit of audio, the 3, 2, 1 and the traffic lights. So like when it fails, you get a blind launch, you don't know when you're going to go and it just goes... So, that was good, but before that, you had two rides on one of your favourite coasters in the world. The Swarm! Now we got to go on left, we got to go on right, we went on the front row, we went on the back row. I went on the front row. Well, I went on the second front row, but we both took turns on the back row, right? Wait, you went on the back row? I did, yeah, did you not notice that? I went on before you with that guy. I oh. promise you it's true. Okay. So yeah, I went on the back row. Oh. And did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I did enjoy it. Do you have any new opinions on which is better, left or right? Uh, right. The right hand side, yeah? Sorry, yeah. yeah. I'm the doing my free sign to tell the guy yeah. on Rumba Rapids, which is where we're going to chill out now. Yeah. Uh, how many's in our party? Yeah, it's about uh, three. Yeah, we've got a secret coaster, cuz. So, oh, she doesn't have to be in it, she doesn't want it. Uh, That's cool. Okay. So yeah, like a little chill out on Rumble Rapids now. I think we'll finish the day on Saw, but I think we'll just leave you for a while and we'll just sum up the day a little bit later on, yeah? Yeah. Okay.
Why are we here? Uh, We're not a thought park. What's, why are we jumped to this? Uh, because. Roll a bad coast of that HQ. We lost the footage of us doing the ending. We, we, we did a really good ending. We did yeah. have to run for a bus that day, but it was a cool ending. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the memory card's not having it. Not having it. So mm. here we are. It's like a month later. We've even done another Thought Park video about Carnival that you've already watched. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and you've just seen this one. Um, but yeah, that was the end of the day. We had a good time on Stealth. I think after we last saw you, we went for some re-rides on Stealth and, um... Oh, we went... didn't get any... Did we get a re-ride on Stealth? Yeah, we did get a re-ride on Stealth that day, that's for sure. I remember that. But, um, I think we had an extra go on the Swarm as well at the end of the day. Um, Ran into some guys who signed up to the channel, constantly talking to us about that. So thank you for signing up that day. Oh, oh, sign-ups. It's a good opportunity to mention... What sign-ups? Well, you know, we have subscriptions. People who subscribe um, to the channel. All right. We could tell them, like... Thank you for the 100 uh, subscribers. Thank you. Like, we got to 100 subscribers about three videos ago, and we left it a while, because I don't know if you saw, but earlier this year we had this weird thing when we put our Kokori Links video up, where some weird website was pumping, like... Fake views. And fake stuff. views and stuff. So we were getting... 10 subs a day and then they were disappearing. It's like we didn't do any of that, but yeah, so we didn't trust we were on 100, but we're now on nearly 150. So those real subs, thank you. Thank you for being there. Yes, real subs, not fake internet subs. Uh, we Website. didn't do it. Website. Well, us, we didn't do it. <laughs> um, so there's going to be more videos like this, like where yeah. we're standing here chatting to you. If you go back to the very beginning of the year when we first released stuff, there was a lot more of this because we're getting to the end of the season. Yeah, and that's the time where all of the theme parks close and all of the kiddie play and like lots of the like CBeebies land and stuff just open for Christmas. Yeah, so don't worry, we're not finished yet. We've got another video for next week that you'll see. And in a few weeks, it's Scarefest at Auburn Towers. You know we're going to be there. And we might fit some other stuff in, some fun fairs. But what do you want to see? What would you like to see us talk about? Would you like to see top tens? What might you like to see? Um, hmm. Oh, I know. Uh, top ten roller coasters in Europe? In Europe? Yeah, like a bucket list one. Like, what would we like to go on in Europe? We could do that. We could do whatever you guys think. So if you've got a really good idea for something you'd like us to comment on, react to, we can probably do that. Stick a comment down below. We'll see what we can get done in the off-season. But for now, thank you for watching this video. We had a great time at Thought Park. Go and watch our other video that we actually recorded after this but released first about Carnival. And we will see you next time on... Roll the Bears and... Coast to that. See you next time. See ya. Is it credits time yet? I think that is. Bye. You can click on one of these, you know. Be okay. Just click on one of the end screens. Alright, enjoy the picture of stealth.